flight training for Linux Air Combat. I'm going to be using a joystick and a numeric keypad for most of this. And the first thing we need to learn is how to look around. If you want to look to the left, you hold this left arrow key like this, press, and you're looking off your left wing. When you release it, you immediately start looking forward again. If you look to the right, it's similar. You press this right arrow button right here, and you're looking off your right wing. When you release it, you're back looking forward again. As you might expect, to look to the rear, you press the down arrow button, or the rear button right here, and you're looking behind you. Releasing, of course, returns you to the forward view. To look up, you press the five button right here in the middle of your numeric keypad, you're now looking straight up. To look down, you use the slash key at the top of your numeric keypad, and you're now looking straight below you. So with these buttons, you can constantly look all around, behind, above, see what you're doing. Now you're going to use that look up view more than you think. Um, just looking straight up to the sun might not seem terribly interesting, but you actually do it a lot, especially when you're turning. Because when you're turning in an airplane, you don't turn like a car. To turn an airplane, you bank and yank. Notice that when I use my joystick, when I move my joystick to the left, I roll this direction. We'd call that counterclockwise. And when I move my joystick the opposite direction, I roll clockwise. When I press my joystick forward, I move toward my feet. When I pull my joystick backward, I move toward my head. To make a turn in an airplane, you could turn with your rudder by just twisting your rudder left and right, and you, you make a slow, sloppy turn. But the way to turn fast is to bank and yank, meaning you roll your airplane on its side and then pull back with your elevators. So these are called ailerons. Moving my joystick to the left and right are called ailerons, and they cause my airplane to roll or spiral through the air, clockwise or counterclockwise, as you see here. This is called my elevator, and it moves, my, moves me toward my head if I pull back, or toward my feet if I pull forward. When I want to turn, I will roll on my side and pull toward my head. That's called bank and yank. That allows me to turn really, really fast. When I'm doing that, I might want to look ahead of my turn. I do that by looking using the up view. Now I'm looking up higher in front of my head, which means more forward into my turn. You may notice that as I make an aggressive turn, my vision gets darker and darker. That's because of the forces involved. It turns out as a 200 pound man, I have about 25 pounds of blood in my, in my body. When I pull a 6G turn, that 25 pounds of blood weighs 150 pounds. And my heart can no longer pump it up into my head very well. When my head begins to starve for blood, I black out. As you can see here, I can't see anymore. When I release pressure on my joystick, my heart can now pump my blood back into my head and I can see again. That's called a blackout condition. Conversely, if I turn backwards, I'll red out, forcing extra blood up into my head, which is never a good idea. I didn't show that very well, but trust me, if you turn to get high speed and then go into a uh, diving situation, you start to get red and red and red and, and red out. Don't crash into the ground while you're trying that. So those are the basic maneuvers of your airplane rolling, using elevators to turn or climb, or negative elevators to descend or dive. And uh, your view key is looking left, looking back, looking right, looking up. And a turn is a bank and yank. And if you look up while doing that, you can look ahead of your turn and see where you're going. When I release my finger now, looking straight forward, let's try that again. I'm going to roll on my side, start, start turning, press my look up key. When I release it, helps me anticipate where my turns are going to be. That is how we fly an airplane. In addition, of course, you've got engine controls. Primarily, we want to talk about your throttle. Your throttle controls down here. We can slow down, diminish our throttle, or speed up to increase our thrust and throttle to increase our speed. Our speed is also, of course, controlled by how steeply we're climbing. If I'm climbing really steep, you'll see my speed is dropping down until I stall. When 
when I drop my nose, you'll see my speed will increase until I either crash or break something. So those are the basics for Linux Air Combat, how to fly.